opener, but it's also a brawler archetype. Like if you get up in his face in a scramble, you're gonna you, you're gonna get the worst out of it. Yeah, he has very he has like very good frame down up close as well. So. Yeah, but we'll be starting off now. To the realm of Kingdom Hearts we go as we see the Mewtwo as the snake hit the battleground. And once you, uh, as soon as we saw, we see the yeah, C4 on the platform. Yeah, immediately C4 on the central platform. <laughs> yeah. And I think that is also going to be a huge win condition here for Dragon if he's mm. going to try to get into this Mewtwo. Seeing a lot, just seeing a lot of grenades coming out. Both snakes, press on into and his uh, combo escape option, frame one. I'm loving this from Dragon. It, does, it doesn't even leave Nuttox any room to charge. Oh, oh my god! Nice get up tilted! Very nice tech chase there. <laughs> Maybe this Phoenix Snake Man is not something to be uh, <laughs> mess around with. Playing the first dog in under 30 seconds. Huge there. And we see Dragon with a good lead, creating the space that he wants. And in what, I, what I was about to say, I like that he doesn't give any space to Linotox to charge up the Shadow Balls, leaving him with the, the puny chip damage Shadow Balls as the only option to like the grenades. They do they do a fair amount of damage. They like do, they do 50 to 20 percent. So that means that Dragon has a good situation to get a, a lot of damage in a short amount of time here. Because Linotox, he wants us to more charge Shadow Balls to get in. But another up tilt there! That leg be stretched. It is Snake's best kill move. Like, I mean, why wouldn't you use it? Really big. Why else do you want? <laughs> Linotox. Finally, and Dragon Sword finally does advantage, but Lintox is unfortunately not able to hit anything. No C4 on deck right now, but uh, we see just grenades and the usage of a dragon is being so calm and collected. Another chase on the platform, but a mix up there with no tech from Lintox. C4 on stage this time, and we see Dragon is creating kind of a force field right here that makes it difficult for Lintox to approach, but that fairy has got to kill. And we see a stock deficit here for Linotox, but still um, trying his best to get in. Definitely trying his best to get in, but very difficult against Snake, especially on this, especially on this stage. Like you have grenades and uh, C4 to deal with. Yeah, I would Whoa. imagine Dragon won the high rock paper Ooh, scissors. Linotox trying to get the dare spike there, but... Oh, look at this. There's no way in. How'd look at all the how'd projectiles. How did he get in against that? Okay, he did get, he'd get through thanks to Teleport, but... Third up tilt, that'll do it. <laughs> Convincing two stock here from Dragon in mm. game number one. I did not expect this. I know that I I said before the set started that Snake wins against Mewtwo, but I didn't think it would be this prevalent. And we see uh, the Finnish crowd in the chat hyping up nice. the boy as well. <laughs> uh, now, when it comes to counter picks, I think as a win condition from Mewtwo, I mentioned Town and City prior to the set starting. Yeah. I, I think getting like the bit more way to not get killed by forward tilt and actually getting these options uh, on the stage itself. I think that is going to be the right move, but we'll, we'll see what Linotox goes for here. I would assume that Town of City is a viable option unless Snake bounces it though. Small battlefield. Yeah, I, 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 I say that's fair. You've got two platforms, so you can at least have one of them that doesn't have a C4 one. Oh, oh no, we're back. <laughs> we are definitely back. We are so back, and Linotox hopes <laughs> to be back as well. As we go into game number two, a game deficit here for the German Mewtwo player. But nothing that he cannot return, of course. Using the confusion very effectively here. And having the double platform, I can see why it's beneficial for Mewtwo, because the single platform was just messing him up. Yeah, the single platform was with the C4 was has made it better for Dragon to just camp him out, really. Then again, we see the stage control that Dragon takes. The get up attack there once again. Using the upwards air dodge to try to avoid the options and just going to ledge comfortably. And again, we, we talked about Duck Hunt the zone earlier, how about having not having uh, ha having an air dodge. Like Snake has the exact same option, which me makes mm. Nikita such a great recovery tool. Not finding anything with these up airs and the tech from Dragon on the platform as well. Trying so patiently to just get in. That would have been uh, the uphill territory. We see the Nikita, Nikita come out. The C4 on the platform once again. There is so much to pay attention to right now <laughs> for this Mewtwo. Oh, oh the yeah. grenade avoiding the throw as well. That's gonna, that was going to be an up throw kill, but the up tilt instead from the dragon. And we see Snake in the lead but once again. 
and then Linsox taking it back though immediately with the F tilt. And that's the advantage I'm to has. He has ranged tools that can kill you if you are on that percent, but Lintox if you don't get in. Linsox Deng doing a lot better this game. And also as we mentioned that Mewtwo has two kill throws. Oh yeah, up throw and back throw. Like yeah, nice back throw can kill on uh, on ledge, and up throw kills center stage and wherever you want it to be. The C4 again causing trouble here for Alina Tox. We well, have Dragon out the, at the deficit, Stand deficit right now. So we talk to get something here strong at ledge. We know how Ooh. quickly Snake can rack up damage though. So even though it's a Punching stock lead, the neutral get up with the um, yeah. As you were saying though, Snake can definitely build up the damage and probably try and look for an up tilt kill. This is much better from Lina Tox though, playing so much more patiently and using the confusion in a way that kind of neglects the grenades that Snake wants to throw out. But he gets hit by these projectiles either if he wants it or not. So the, the setups here are so strong mm -hmm. from Dragon. Nice, nice up tilt there onto the stage. Just skipping the ledge completely. Confusion do, doing his best work to just avoid getting hit by the grenades. Just out of range to get hit by the dash attack there, but gets the jab, the Nikita. Mewtwo not going the side that maybe uh, Dragon anticipated, so the up tilt was not the right follow up. But the ups. Oh Ooh, up my god! Barely, barely getting saved by the grenade. The that saving grace there for Dragon. Mm -hmm. Keep flexing your leg, Dragon. He's gonna run into it eventually. Good movement here with the Nikita from the Phoenix Snake main. <laughs> Navigating around, not rushing in to try to get the kill move. Although the percentage is building up, so it's kind of running <laughs> out of time. And if he uh, outspaces that dash attack again, Linotox will get that F tilt any day of the week. Good patience there, well, Linotox is standing there waiting for Dragon to be in a disadvantage and will take game two now. Now, I'm not going to make any predictions on the stages because I've been entirely wrong so far. Um, let's just see where, where we're going because. Uh, if I were Lena Tox in this situation, I would maybe probably ban uh, Town and Carlos and maybe one of the single platforms. And I don't think any of these want to go to uh, go, go to final destination either. No, FD like Snake misses out on having a platform to do stuff, and then but Counterpoint he was Mewtwo probably doesn't want to just have no platforms to not I get around any of the grenades. So. I know that Mewtwo digs Smashville. It's yeah. actually a very good stage for the character, according to Ambil at least. Okay. So we I might feel like it's there. I feel like based on how uh, Game 1 went on uh, Hollow Bastion, he might not want to deal with just one platforms and C4 games. Yeah, but the pl so. platform is different and the stage is a lot yeah, smaller as well. Yeah, a lot smaller, so it's... Oh, well, there we go. We are going to Smashville. Yeah, that was what I imagined because, uh, as I mentioned, Muta gets a lot of the out of the Shadow Ball there and just narrowing the space down where... I will say it is Dragon's counterpick, so... Perhaps, perhaps it's good for both characters. We'll I think see. both kind of are going into it with the same game plan, just narrowing down the space. Narrowing down the, the space. Like camp. Try and make a bit more close corners. Yeah. But definitely a strong uh, strong uh, stage for Snake as well. It has been mentioned. However, we're going to see Linotox trying to build the advantage here. Low profiling under <laughs> the dash attack there. And we see the advantage once again here for Dragon as he gets another down tilt. 78% now on Linotox. We see the grenades being used efficiently for both characters mm. here. A bit of self damage there, and the rapid jab from Mewtwo, which does so much damage if he gets going. So if Snake does get hit with grenade in hand, he can get. He, he does get hit by if it explodes, so. Then you can combo with Snake getting hit by his own grenades, as we've seen uh, Lintox do here. That's a neutral area. It's not going to kill, but that's a lot of damage. A lot of damage, and set you at ledge. Yeah. Gosh. Lintox will get off with. Uh, yeah, we see we see a bit of conditioning here. Ah, oh, that was a good setup from Dragon. We see a bit of conditioning here from Le uh, Lina Tox in the form that he doesn't hover around the ledge once he gets up. He just wants to get away from that up smash as soon as possible because the projectiles are there, so it's his job to just navigate around and find the space that he needs. That's a dash attack once again. The Nikita is out. He's just going to drop it onto the ledge. Almost a kill with the fair there as well. Just dropping these projectiles, forcing Linotox to almost stay in shield. But he has to fully charge out a ball now, which will reach on ledge. But good get up there from Dragon, who gets the forward tilt. Yes, and it's back good. in the lead here in this set.
There you go. There's the other kill, folks. Instant reply. <laughs> That's the thing about Mewtwo. Like, he can brawl up close as well. All right. Yeah, definitely have the option to do so. It's so fascinating because these are two, like, traditional zoners, right? And then still they are so good at cl up close travel. Still travels. they have the tools to yeah, battle up close. <laughs> and we see the down tilt to dash attack there from Leaning Talks. So bread and butter, as you would like to call it. Confusion, no disable from it though. Mm. A bit of a presumptuous call out. Actually getting the cross up there on the get up. Just keeping center state. Dragon is dropping these projectiles like the Tic Tacs. And once again, the up smash there to try to limit the options that Linotox has from the ledge. Using these grenades again so efficiently, trying to catch his approach. Oh, oh that's a disable! That's going to be a kill! That's disable. <laughs> he was smashing that down B. He I just know that. it. I can, yeah, you can just tell. <laughs> it's definitely good to go for it now when your opponent is probably not, maybe not aware of it, but... And now this, the up tilt is staling as well, so Dragon will have to look for kill options another way. Especially now that his damage is racking up quickly, 66% oh, already the on the fence. Stick on the Mewtwo and we'll set it off. <laughs> Landing neutral air there, just using Ooh. the space. Linotox looking much more comfortable here now in the driver's seat in game number three. As well. No follow up there from the grenade explosion. Dragon just navigating around the platform. This is working out for Lena Fox, <coughs> I have to say. Even though the uh, platforms are granting more uh, options with the grenades for Dragon, I think that just having that narrow space creates a brawling situation where right. you two win south. But we see Dragon now setting up Linotox in another disadvantage, trying to go for the Tomahawk grab there, which was a good Starting thought. Dragon, Dragon definitely have Oh, that's oh. a C4. Dragon, Dragon taking, making the comeback there. And we'll take game, we'll now take uh, game three. <laughs> yeah, even though it looked like, look, looked like Linotox was in the driver's seat uh, for the entirety, al almost the entirety at least. Uh, Dragon won it back with good projectile play and the C4 mm -hmm. came in clutch for him right there. So I didn't see which stage we're going to. Raptorian, but Jormis, I believe we're going back to Small Battlefield for Game 4. Small Battlefield, right. Back. Yes. There Mr. we go. Yeah, it makes sense. That was, that was uh, stage Lean Talks 1 on yep. initially. So if it worked before, it would probably work again. It's going to require a lot of conditioning to use the single platform's two snakes advantage for Dragon. But he's doing a great job try, trying to avoid self inflicting too much damage on himself. Dragon definitely getting a nice start off here. All the eight, all the getting Linotox to nearly 100% under half a minute. Oh! And it will kill! How <laughs> do you have time for that? There's no way! It might be Linotox Skullbro, stage camping, but Rich, Dragon is DJ, leading very Lippy, strongly now. <laughs> Big Max and 180 IQ on the character he plays, but also 180, 180 IQ on the plays that he's doing. Dragon is really <laughs> pulling the weight now to get this snake advancing on the winner's side, trying to send Linotox into losers. You guys will play in row three, that is set up seven, eight, and nine. And again, we see the force of the usage of confusion there for the Mewtwo. It kind of leaves him in a bit of a hit, hit son, or a hit lag, obviously, yeah. uh, which makes it easier for Dragon to approach. Yes. But again, Yuta needs that confusion to be able to keep up with the projectiles that Snake wants to throw out. Down smash call out there. It's, it's a strong kill move, but it's a bit of a gamble. Oh, there's a disable. That's going to be a stock at least. Disable. Nikki, Baron Brody. We see it now just trying to create the space. Only, only like 80% uh, dividing these two. But again, Snake has so many kill moves. He doesn't, he doesn't struggle with finishing off this stock. No, you can, two can build percent uh, with that rapid jump and the Shadow Balls, of course. But again, the air is entirely in the property of Solid Snake at the moment. Oh, the call of there with the up tilt as well. Oh my oh. God! He oh. got the turnaround with the Nikita. That was so big brain. I don't know if it even was intentional. 
I'm not sure if it was, but it worked out in the end. <laughs> oh, that's oh. such a good setup. And we see Lena Tox with him back against the wall. Lena Tox potentially on his last talk of winners. Uh, Dragon yeah. is doing so well to move Ooh. around this legendary psychic Pokemon. <laughs> the grenades being a thorn in the side of Lena Tox at the moment. But it's definitely not, not looking to get upset. And we see, we see that Lina Tox is just struggling to get in. There's no way in. He's trying to get in and he's being punished for it with his grenades slowly building up. We thought this was a good save for Mewtwo because of the platforms, but Snake is utilizing them so well at the moment. And now we're on up tilt percent. We see the down smash here from Lina Tox. But Dragon has built himself such a good lead that uh, just a single kill move will do the job for him. And this will be such a good upset if he were to get that. And they're almost killing. But the ledge, the ledge against Snake is very scary. Where is he going? The down air. Down there, and the keys are out. We see them just being patient in the shield. Zero percenter on Dragon. It's such a long way here for Lina Tox to get back into this game. Dragon just trying to ignite the C4, igniting the action, igniting the run what? with that up smash, up smash. making it into winners, into the next round, sending Lina Tox down. Dragon getting the upset, very well played there by both players. <laughs> Hot set, and Muta Snake brought the action. That was so lovely to see. To see it. So, uh, that, I think, uh, I have to get confirmed with production first, but uh, I think